Morning's Broadway and Beyond. Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater's holiday engagement is underway at New York City Center. From now until December 24th, you can catch 10 works created by founder Alvin Ailey. But a new piece called Busk, choreographed by Azure Barton, includes a Bronx native in a featured role. Take a look. That is featured dancer Kalia Campbell, who joins me now on the couch. Good morning. So nice to see you. So nice to meet you, too. I saw your performances over the weekend, blown away. It'd been a long time since I'd seen a performance, and it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so on my way to go see it, I was reading your bio, and I saw that you um, you worked with choreographer, who's a friend of mine, Darrell Moultrie. Yes. So immediately I called him, and I said, tell me about her. And he said... You are not only, your technical dance is amazing, but your soul comes out and you stand out so much on the stage. What does it feel like to be on stage? Um, it's really an indescribable feeling. Um, I've been dancing since the age of two. Wow. Um, I started off in the church and just to be able to just really just share my gift at this capacity. I am a woman who is grounded in faith and I just have to profess my gratitude for God for allowing me to just be able to yeah, share my gift at this capacity with the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. So it's really just indescribable. Now you say you started it too. Yeah. Um, so when did you know that this was your passion and, and what did you face? Were people like, yeah, go for it or, or did you face any discouragement? Yeah, so uh, my mom, I was a nine when I really started to really just believe that, wow, I can do this professionally. Um, for fun, it was just for fun at the age of three. Like I said, I started off at church and um, I started with the tap at four oh, okay. um, at a school called Ruth Williams. And like I said, it started when I was nine, when I went to a school called Uptown Dance Academy, which is located in Harlem. I really started to, to just gain the deep desire to want to pursue this professionally. When did you first see Alvin Ailey dancers and what impact did it have on you? So the, the Ailey word was buzzing around me at the age of nine. Um, my teachers would say, you look like an Ailey dancer or you're going to, you're <laughs> going to be an Ailey. And it wasn't until high school where um, I was compared to Miss Jamison, oh, Judith wow. Jamison, and they would go, little Judy, you know? And so that's when um, I joined the scholarships uh, program in 2014, and I really got to see uh, the company like in its full capacity. And I saw my experiences on stage. I saw people who looked like me, the versatility of the company, like this was home for me. Like immediately when I saw them, I was like, this is home, this is where I belong. What does it mean to you um, and your family when they're able to come see you perform? They're, they're, they're so proud. I mean, <laughs> when you think about all of the money, <laughs> yeah. all of the money and the, the sacrifice that my, my mom and my grandma um, put into me to be able to really help cultivate and support my dream to be, to see me on a stage um, with the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater, they're, they're probably just so proud and excited and grateful. So, yeah. Well, I have these amazing photos that I want to share with our viewers um, and these they're you <laughs> so we're gonna put some I mean look at this what what do you feel when you see it? this is you <laughs> Wow yeah I, know, I mean right? a lot of hard work and dedication mm -hmm. um, to really get to that point um, when you talk about your lines and you know your face like it took a lot of work to to be able to uh, you know see that product that you're seeing now so yeah <laughs> now for anyone who hasn't seen Alvin Ailey performances um, tell them what they can uh, expect an experience <laughs> um, definitely an experience you are looking at one of the greatest companies in the entire world every single dancer in the company um, they, their, their individuality and their soul just really speaks in. You will not be disappointed. You're gonna come out changed. And um, yeah, you're gonna come out with a, 
experienced with um, joy um, and wanted to do something different for the world. I think Mr. Ailey just really, um, in his work, wanted us to be changed as people um, and wanted us, wanted us to, you know, change the world. And I think when you see Ailey, that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to take action um, <laughs> seeing the company. So, yeah. What kind of reaction do you get from um, children who see you on stage and want to become dancers? And what advice do you have for them? So I would never forget... Um, this is when I was actually in the second company, which is the junior company of the Avenue American Dance Theater. And there was one little girl who literally yelled and ran up to me and hugged me. And immediately I was like, this is my why. Like, this is why I do it, to be able to um, tell African-American kids, black little girls like me, um, that this gift, this, this uh, life is attainable, you know? Um, so what I have to tell the younger generation or, you know, women, men who want to pursue this, uh, this dream, um, perseverance, mm -hmm. you know, dedication, hard work, um, is what is needed because this, this profession is competitive, mm -hmm. um, and you have to love it. <laughs> if you don't love it, it's <laughs> not gonna, it's not gonna be sustainable. You have to have this passion and this drive to be able to pursue something like this. So I would say that. It is such an honor to meet you. Me you too. are amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Kalia Campbell with Alvin Ailey. Thank you. Thank now, you. for more information on when you can see Kalia perform, just head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back.